There are three main steps for finding the plastic capacity of a member. Uh, the first step is we want to apply a load to the structure until a hinge forms. So if we were looking at a section, and let's say we have a propped cantilever for this case. Uh, what we'll do is we'll apply a load, P1, let's say we have a, a point load at the center, until a hinge forms. So we know our moment diagram for this section uh, looks like this. The maximum at the point of the load. Uh, with a maximum moment at, at the end equal to 3 uh, PL over 16 and the middle moment being 5 PL over 32 so what we'll do is we'll set our we'll apply load P, uh, P1 until our moment at the end equals our plastic moment. Uh, so we can solve for our P1 then. So at this point we're going to have a hinge form. So we'll have a new structure. So our new structure is uh, what we'll look at in our second step. So the second step is we're going to apply an additional load to the new structure until we form a, sec a second hinge. So we'll apply additional load uh, to the new structure until we form a second hinge. So our new structure, uh, as we saw from the previous video, will have a hinge at the end where we reached our uh, plastic moment, and we'll still have a uh, roller here at the other end. So now we just have a simply supported section. So we're going to apply an additional load, P2, until we have a moment um, equal to the plastic moment at the center. So we know our moment diagram. Is uh looks like this with a moment of PL over 4 at the center. So now we'll look at our plastic moment. So we want to apply load until we have um, a plastic moment at the center. So we have the um, the moment that was already there from our first loading, so our 5 P1L over 32, and now we have this additional, uh, additional load, which is P2L over 4. And now we can solve uh, for P2 here, and we'll get... Uh, I'll let you solve for P2. So then we look at the new structure and we see if we can apply any additional load. So can any additional load be applied? If it can be, So if yes, then go back to 2. Uh, if no, then we're done. So in our structure, we'll now have our hinge at the ends, and we'll have a hinge at the middle. So once again, you can see that we've reached a mechanism. 
So our total load that we can apply to the structure is equal to P1 plus P2. And you can remember that if we were you know, not to do a plastic design and just to do a, uh, a regular analysis, um, we would only have P1.